further ado, play my shit! What's up guys, t Croc here, welcome to the vlog. As you can see, I got a few car parts in and I figured I would just do like a quick unboxing of uh, what's going on. Unfortunately, these parts will not be installed until later this week because I'm still working. If you guys didn't work, no, I work nights in a hospital. So the first box is from 3SX. I already know that this is my fuel fittings. So it's gonna be hard to unbox this while holding the camera and I'm pretty sure 3SX also threw like a pin yeah a pin and the fitting oh they actually changed the fitting they used to be blue okay so now I'll be able to install the rest oh wait there's some more stuff oh. Cards, stickers, probably receipt, yeah. All right. And when I get to the shop, when I actually install these, I'll probably show you guys the difference between this one and the actual, um, the bigger one. Because it's just wider. And this is from Rock Auto. I already know this is probably my distributor yeah uh i'm not gonna unbox that you guys know what a distributor looks like uh, this is from amazon and i know this is a part of the fuel fittings that i ordered that actually took a lot of time to unpackage uh shout out to my friend who actually packages up property so they wouldn't uh get messed up so these are rip mods second generation long tube headers um i actually had the first generation headers and they were basically they didn't have uh slip on joints and they also had cats and these right here are probably the second best headers for horsepower that you can get. They're very similar to the high tech. I think the high techs make a little bit more. Uh, so people were making, I would say, I think I made at least uh, 30 more horsepower, uh, actual wheelpower, to the, um, from actually installing these headers and having it tuned. Tuning it is the number one thing. Uh, people sometimes just slap on headers and they're like, oh yeah, I didn't gain that much power. Uh, no, you need to tune them because actually long tubes, you definitely need to tune. But the reason I chose these is because for one, the quality, the quality is very good. Um, and the other reason is I don't like eBay. eBay headers fit like crap. They sound like crap and they perform like crap. Um, just my opinion. If you guys do have eBay headers, I mean, more power to you. I just know from people who have stalled them and compared to what I've used in the past that they're crap um let's see what else um I am gonna have to weld a few things uh and there I will get a sound clip of them but the, I'll tell you what I have to weld I'm gonna have to weld uh, a EGT port right here to measure my exhaust gas temperature that's just something I like to monitor while I'm racing and I need to either do a V-band or some kind of flange right here. It looks like it's a three inch, which is good. And I, I need to put them on the car first because I'm not sure if there's a gap 
in between this because sometimes the last rip headers that I installed, they bolted straight up to the cat back. And they are loud. I mean, super loud. So if it does it, uh, have a gap, I'm probably going to put a resonator to quiet it down a little bit. And if there's no gap, then I'm guessing I'm just going to have a super loud car. Unless I want to add another resonator. Um, now, I'm actually curious about the slip-on joint on this. Because I've never had one. So, I know it... It just goes on like this, I guess. Hold on one second. Yeah, I guess it just goes on like that. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to have to extend my O2 sensors. I didn't have to do it in the past, but these O2 ports look like they're a lot longer. So I might have to uh, extend them out a little bit. Yeah, because that one's super long. Let's see. But yeah, it looks like it just slips on. I don't know if you just put like a clamp on it and so it doesn't slide out. Uh, I do know. I don't know. I know. They, I know they make slip joints, so I'm probably have to measure it and buy two slip joints so they don't slide. Cause that's right by the O2 sensor, and I don't need an exhaust leak right there. That'll make tuning a hell of a lot harder. But yeah. That's it. Um, like I said, I will be putting these on later this week, uh, so I'll get some sound clips. Now, it's not going to be a true sound clip because, for one, the exhaust won't be complete because I have to get the flanges welded. So it'll be kind of like an open header. But I want to get the car started up, make sure it runs good. So hell, we'll just run open header for a week or so while I get everything situated. But that's it, guys. Um, I'll see you guys uh, next week.